Thursday afternoon. I was still in uh, still in uh, England, or not in England, sorry, in Hong Kong, and uh, only jumped on the plane. So Josh, or, sorry, Tom Howlett gets the game underway into the 22 for Cardiff, and immediately showing their intent to use the win. Good drive by Lucas De La Rua. Good drive there by Owen James. Mottram playing to the big guys again. Hill to De La Rua. But they've slipped the ball. But uh, the referee has deemed them offside. So this is about 15 metres. It'll be interesting to see whether they go for poles on this one or whether they uh, look to kick to the corner. Jonathan Davies, Dan Bigger, you name it. They uh, they have a factory for outside halves. Uh, somewhere in South Wales, it's undoubted. So, Rhys Mottram, the young man will want to put himself... Uh, So it takes absolutely no time about uh, letting that one fall off the uh, off the tee. So an opening score for Cardiff and Vale, a three nil lead. So Reese Mottram to Flynn Baker did well to stay on his feet with that uh, hit. Luke Capel. So back into their own half. But Mottram knows that they're playing under advantage, so uh, puts the speculator in, but they come back. And this will be interesting because uh, that's the position of the field where Ben Redshaw had a couple of goes for Sedba. It's kind of a real following wind, and yeah, looks like he's opting for poles. They either take a six point lead into half time or they're probably going to get the ball back inside the midfield half with seconds to play. Good strike. And uh, that was a lazy kind of rolling kick there, but straight between the uprights. And now going back to the forwards, George Timmins. Driving hard and uh, real live wire play the young scrum half. Osh Caitlin scores the first try of the game. And uh, there was some pretty sharp play there. Yeah, that was good play from Millfield. Got to say, as soon as they took that ball to the edge, they had these guys on the backfield running and cleaning up on the edge, and that just opened oh. some space. And as a former halfback, that uh, makes my heart sing, seeing, uh, seeing him slice through on the blind side there. And uh, that'll certainly wake Cardiff and Vale up on the, their pillars and posts. We'll have to really be watching this young man. And kicking into the teeth of the wind. The conversion is wide, but what it means is that Millfield stunningly closed the gap to six points to five behind Cardiff and Vale as we go to the half time. So Cardiff and Vale kicking off Owen Erasmus with an early kick and uh, a good take there by Captain Jack Lee. They're probably about seven, eight metres, maybe nine, ten metres out, and they've won the penalty here. And uh, so they're going to play with it. Reese Mottram digs the ball. It's on. And uh, it's touch in the corner, I think. Touch judge has got his hand up there. But a good disruption there from Cardiff and Vale. And uh, Hurley's got his hands on this ball and they're driving hard to the line. Not quite there, just inches short, but now they're gonna pound this line. Millfield all hands to the pump here and it looks like he's got through for that. And it looks like it's the number six, Luke Capel. 
Again, that try came from a turnover at line-out time, so uh, very crucial to have your set pieces like scrum and line-out sorted out when you play in these conditions. And Luke himself is in the Wales under-18 squad, so Rhys Mottram lining up this kick. And he pushes it to the right. Yeah, I think it took a bit of time there when he stepped forward to kick it. And uh, some pressure being put on him from the 14 winger of of Millfield. You feel very much it's now or never for Millfield. Oh, and a great line run there. Matt Hall in off that wing. Oh, and Caitlin tried to do the same again. He ghosted through in the first half, but they're back for the penalty, and they go quickly. And the try is given. George Cottrell. There was a hint of a bobbled, uh, bobbled ball. So that takes the score to 11 points to 10 with a kick to come. But it's way out on this right-hand touchline, not the easiest of kicks. Yeah, we could be happy for Josh Cottrell there getting in, but uh, he really deserves it. He's been a, a good player since he's came on. Yeah, he really plays the contact situation very well. Marsh Caitlin has really backed himself and uh, speeded up this game ever since he came on. But he's left-footed, so he's given himself the best chance here. into a 12 points to 11 lead with around about 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah, I think the big thing for Cardiff and Vale should be to get the ball, get the ball back in position and try and play in Millfield's, Millfield's no. second 20, in their 22. Alex Deering, solid with that. And that's probably a decent kick by Caitlin especially if it bobbles towards the touchline. Well kept in by Del Novo. And he does what he has to do, which is pump it long here. The clock on field has gone a little bit, but we did have a couple of injuries. But we must be desperately close to the final whistle. Yeah, let's see if Cardiff and Vale can put some pressure on the scrum and try and create a turnover. This is a crucial moment in the game. If Cardiff and Vale don't get this ball back, you feel it's probably game over. Oh. And Osh, Osh Caitlin, the young man here, calming everybody down. They'll maybe uh, take a shot at goal. And uh, asking the referee how long to go, and immediately they signal to uh, give Owen Erasmus the chance to probably finish the game off. There'll be no issue with distance for Erasmus. He just needs to stroke this one. And he slots it. And Millfield run out.